My name is Fifi Folsom, the Christocentric guy, and I want to make welcome my guest this morning on Up Close. Uh, you know, <laughs> welcome, uh, Wage War. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I, I got it right. I pronounced yeah. the name right. You did. You did. I did right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I need some volume on the mic. Uh, let's see if that works. Uh, so please say hello to me. Do I have to get close? No, you are fine. You are close enough. Okay. You're, you're on up close. <laughs> yeah. You get me there. Yeah. Okay. I am on up close. Yes, you are. All right. So let's uh, quickly get uh, talking. Help help me with your name, Wager. Wager. Yeah, Wager. What, what does it mean? Uh, asking uh, the meaning of an African name. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> do you have time for the sermon? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> give me an abridged version okay so it's 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 even if i should translate it uh, literally to mean who has god despised oh wow who has god despised and um uh, it's kind of rhetoric but the actual meaning is that god does not despise um anybody. okay it is human beings who reject and despise each other but god says anyone who comes to him he would accept you just oh. come to God, no matter who uh, who you are, and He will accept you. Okay. So my name is to say that Nyamempu Obia, God does not despise or reject anyone. How did you get this name? I'm just curious. Did your parents ever tell you why they gave you this name? Okay, so my grandmother gave me the name. My grandmother coined the name. I don't even think I've come across anybody in this world with that name. Yeah, I figured. From my hometown, everybody, nobody goes by that name except me. <laughs> you are unique. <laughs> <laughs> That's how special I am. Yeah, she coined it herself. <laughs> Who has God despised? despised. Yeah. It's Why a question. Why? Why? Nobody. Yeah. Wow. Because people reject you and you run to God. Mm. But God, God will not yeah, reject I know, you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Well, thanks for sharing that with us. Yeah. Now, so is this is like your is it your showbiz name? Hey, this name is Mio. <laughs> No yeah. show, and yet for show, sure, crap. <laughs> it's 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 my actual me. It's it's me. Okay. It's 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 my life. It's my journey. It's what keeps me grounded. When okay. you call me Wejewo, if if I was making the mistake of growing any wings or horns, I will quickly remember and get back to myself and know that hey, uh, you have a purpose. You you've been kept here for a reason, and you better stick to that, so you don't grow any horns. Yeah. Wow. It keeps me grounded. I see. Yeah. So it's it's my name they call me at home. People from my hometown call me. But most importantly, it's my grandmother who likes to call me by that name. Yeah. You are a culturally rich Kassina girl. Yes. Hey, you got that right. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? What, what does that mean? I was I was I was brought up in a very like cultural home. Like I was even though I was born in Accra, I had my entire village in my house, even in Accra. So every, all the norms, the values, the beliefs, and the things that identifies me as a Kasana girl, mm -hmm. I was, I was brewed in that pot. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Upper East region. Yes. In Accra. In Accra. <laughs> we brought, we brought Upper East region to Accra. Wow. <laughs> yes. That sounds interesting. So yeah. I speak my language as if I've lived there before, but I've never lived there. Oh, you have not? No. I've never lived in the Upper East region. I visit. Okay. But I, 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 I've never lived there. How do you say good morning? What language do you speak in the Upper East? Kasim. Kasim. Sorry. Yes, Kasim. Well, how, how do you say good morning? Don't worry. I shouldn't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Good and morning. How do I respond? Waro, oh, waro. Oh, and they don't worry. And they don't worry. You too. Good morning. Good okay. morning too. And they, they worry. Don't worry. It's a yeah. sweet language. Yeah. Do you have songs in uh, your language? On my album? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, anyway. We'll, we, we'll, <laughs> we'll find out more yeah, as yeah. we carry on. Great. But how, yeah. how, how, how have you been this morning? I've been great. I mean, the fact that I was coming here, I actually didn't sleep. Hey. A friend of mine, Kobe, is, is listening <laughs> all the way from 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 the US. He knows I have not slept. So. W w why is that? I'm coming to joy. Hey, oh. I'm coming to Fifi. Fifi, do you know how long I've been chasing you? 
God no, started. Today, I should no, update my CV no, today. Your, your, your name actually did the trick, you know. Eh. Yeah, who does God despise? despise? So the Lord told me that this year. Stop, stop despising me like that. But I've been chasing you since last year, remember? Hey, brah. Oh, last year. Me been chasing what you? Years ago, <laughs> from your previous station I to know, here. I, uh huh. This is so this the anxiety is, this, just kept. Oh I couldn't my sleep. god! Yeah. Somebody showed me your post on social media. I laugh. Uh, he said, "Hey, you're under pressure." Charlie, you're like, "Oh no, nah, no." Nah, nah. Tension won't catch we are, me. We are just going to have uh, a because good Nino code. and his cohorts I have given me pressure. Oh, don't mind him. <laughs> 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 we'll be fine, girl. <laughs> Thank you we'll very much. You, Thank you, you. You got in very early, like an hour before time. Yeah, is I this, usually do when I'm going for interviews. I get there like way ahead of that i don't like to come to places late okay yeah i was going to say this, this is your training as a teacher right is it maybe ah. but maybe it's from my own upbringing okay um, i don't like to be late i like to be early yeah i see i like so that. my friends when they're having parties and they invite me they will tell me my my, my cousin is listening vanessa <laughs> she'll tell me pat party near two o'clock oh, <laughs> but would you obey me about four <laughs> So you be there on time because if she tells me two o'clock, you get that at twelve. One fifty-nine. <laughs> I'm sitting there. <laughs> but I like that. That's yeah. those are good values. Yeah. Is it part of the casino kind of you know training? The casino training. Yeah. yeah. You see the culture. I know, right? <laughs> it's good. I, I, I like the way you you speak fondly about your culture. Oh, I love and, it. Uh, yeah, and the fact I that you, you even speak your language. Yeah, it gives you direction it when does. you know who you are. When you know what you you hold dear when you know where you are coming from you have a clear picture of where you should be going wow honestly I yeah see. yeah the picture is clear i, I know the lord has clear. blessed you with children do they speak your language my children eh they are confused <laughs> you know why <laughs> <laughs> i speak a different language my husband speaks a different language my husband does not understand my language and I do not understand his language. Oh my gosh. So if I start speaking my language with my kids, then he gets, he's kind of lost in I the mess. Right. So yeah, we but tried. They, but can, they can understand. Sorry. They can understand when you speak. When you speak, they can understand, but speaking back, it's a, uh, it's wow. a problem. They can understand it, especially their father's language. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. We'll get into all of that. So what's your, your full name, Angasa? My full name, no. Yeah. Apart from Wejiwa. Wejiwa. Yeah. Okay, my name now. Nah, I am like Abraham, from like Abraham, Abraham. Like okay. You metamorphose as know. you move along. Okay. So my name has changed that or now. Oh, okay, really? but my current name is. <laughs> you can give us your current name. <laughs> my current name is Patience Asewe Abo officially. Patience yeah. Asewe. Asewe. Yes, Abo. Abo. Yeah. And Abo is your husband's my name. My husband's name. So the Asewe is what? It's my father's name. Uh, it's not even a feminine name, eh? No, I say, where's my father's name? It kind of feels like, uh, <laughs> I, know. I remember when I was coming out with my album, Park Crazy Akon at uh, okay, your state. Yeah, your, of course. Your, yeah, yes. Park Crazy told me that, Kebe and Kafa, I say, where well, sounds better, like, <laughs> you know, but that's my father's name. name. <laughs> that's not my name. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so patience. I say where I bore. Yes. Uh, it's my guest this morning on Up Close. So much energy already, and I'm loving it, right? So let's talk about life. I'm, yeah. I'm interested in life. Uh, you know, hold on. I think uh, I, you know, in, in, in my preparations, all right, I saw a picture that you had posted in 2022, 7 July. Yay. Uh, there's one cute with some uh, colibu powder on your face. Jesus. Right? <laughs> Jesus, which picture is, is this that, one? Is that uh, this one? The, the caption said, "I had no idea how my future was going to be like, but I was very confident in the one who held and still holds my future. Yeah. Despise not your small beginnings." Yeah. This message got to me. It did. It did. Wow. You sought to have a mindset for the future yeah. in your past. Yeah. What were you thinking? How were you looking at your future when the beginning didn't look like? Yeah. It was going to be like this. I know. <laughs> it's, it's strange, yeah? Um, where to even draw that energy from mm. to, to begin to become hopeful? Because to be hopeful takes a lot. It takes a lot from exactly. you. Exactly. And, and so, I don't know. I think, I just kind of thought to myself that, I mean, to be born, to be raised, to have gone through the things I have gone through and I've met people who ha who are older than me but i've not they've not experienced half of the things i have experienced in this short life mm. um i've had on this earth and so i just thought that it has to 
probably be for a reason. Mm. There must be a bigger picture. Mm. There must be something important and glorious ahead of me for me to have been going through these these things. Because that's not what I look at other kids when I was, I mean, they, they were not, no, their lives were not like mine. So it has to be for a reason. And I, I just told myself the reason had better be good. Mm. It has to be good. Otherwise, then this wouldn't make sense. I can right? imagine. Yeah. And, so, and that was what kept me going. I just told myself, all these things are for a better future. What were, Something glorious is coming what up. What were these things? Share some with me. Uh, these things, um, I don't know. I just realized that almost every aspect of my life was never conventional. Mm. Um, I never really fitted anywhere. I don't fit. I don't, I just don't fit. So you want to look at a child who is growing up with her parents. I never fitted because I wasn't growing up with my parents. Mm. Um, a child usually for, I mean, when we study psychology, there's that like the development of a child, you need mm. a male and female. Mm. I mean, both sides, one disciplines, one nurtures to bring up a complete human being, isn't it? Mm. But I was brought up by a women's fellowship. I always say. <laughs> I, I grew up in a women's fellowship everybody around me was female mm. yeah and I, I will have to look at other families where there were males and just imagine mm. how that kind of life would be mm. and uh, being in a women's fellowship you know women mm. and you know how we like to lash out and you know how <laughs> we cannot uh, contain emotions most right. of the time then we get accused of it that uh -huh. we are emotional uh -huh. but I, I believe every human being should be emotional anyway right. emotions are part of life right. but to have grown up within those circles within the company of women mm. a lot of whom were not happy mm. it, I, 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 I was at the receiving end mm. of all of that and so those were the things I, I, I thought about when I said that something mm. better had be like there has to be something good ahead mm. otherwise why i mean i didn't ask to be born I know, right? <laughs> why, why why would I, a little child and i have to be thinking mm. and wondering and i mean trying to please everybody else nobody re really ever cared whether i was feeling the heat or not mm. and uh that was tough it was it was really tough people see me and I say we need you we are tough but you don't know i had yeah. to be it was a survival <laughs> thing I had to be tough. Otherwise, by now, I would have crashed out. Mm. So our, our personalities, I believe, are, are shaped by our backgrounds and the things you receive. Uh, Indeed. Yeah. So you build a resistance for it. Yes. I know. I yeah. know. I'm, yeah. I'm still understanding why why you are giving <laughs> prophetically this name. You yeah. Know? yeah it's, it's beginning to make it's sense. It's making sense. Even eh? to me now. Yeah. But who did you want to become or what did you want to become growing up? Hey, a lot of things. They kept changing. <laughs> <laughs> They kept changing. Then at the point when it got, to, I remember one time, was it, when was it? I was telling my friend, um, I was speaking to this legend, Herbert Mensah. Yeah. And I told him that, did he know when I was going, and they got to a time when I actually slept and instead of dreaming about a good future, within those times, every time I dreamt, I dreamt about my funeral. Oh. Yeah. I was, because I was tired. I got to a point where I was so tired. I wanted to die. And so I would dream about how I, I, I died and I I'm watching myself being carried to the grave and I'm watching the people who were crying. And then in the dream, <laughs> I'll even wake up from the casket and question all of the, why are you, why are you crying? Didn't you do this to me? Didn't you do this? <laughs> <laughs> that, that must be a script for a movie. Can you imagine? You better write it. <laughs> and, then, and I kept pointing fingers, the dead body gets up and is talking to people. You stop, you better stop crying. You, you did this to me. Why are you now crying? You know? Ah. So like I had, I mean, to, if you ask me, what was I thinking of becoming in future? In fact, I thought about everything else, even including my own funeral. So, wow. um, to be here, apart from God, it might sound, it, it will sound cliche to you, but that's the honest truth. Mm. The dream wasn't that concrete because the dream even included my funeral. <laughs> So, <laughs> so after i realized i wasn't dying then i started thinking of other things <laughs> the lord has been gracious okay huh? so now i said oh considering how the big things i've received let me i, I look like, it looks like i'm tough enough i can do military let me go to the military so okay. i want to be a soldier okay 
uh -huh, so that with my hardness, yeah. I will help to protect and preserve lives by fighting other people. Because I like to fight. I fought a lot. So I thought the military would be good for me. I mean, I... Then it got to a point I... I lost three brothers. Ouch. Uh, after me, my mom had about three sons and they all died. Oh, no. And when I got to the secondary school, I realized I began to make sense of how they died. And I realized it, they were avoidable. Those deaths oh. were avoidable. Oh. Um, something as little as um, malaria. Oh. And then I think one of them was actually due to malnutrition. I remember his picture clearly in my mind because... He, he had a protruding tummy and he was completely, really, really lost weight. And I think it was probably nutritional mm. because of where we were living. And we, we, there was no health facilities around. And we have, you have to wait for the market day to travel to the nearest hospital, which was in Damango, to get health care. And by the time you would do that, I mean, the child. So I lost three brothers. Oh, sorry. Poor health services. Poor health education because my mom didn't know wow. and so i when at the secondary school that was when i started saying no i should do something in health i will be i don't know what whether i'll become a doctor a nurse okay. but i must definitely work in the health sector mm -hmm. to make healthcare accessible to people like my younger brother so they don't die yeah yeah so then that was where i drew my motivation and then that, that's what shaped what I wanted to be in future. And that was to be whatever it is in health. I remember after secondary school, somebody asked me the same, what do you want to be? And I said, oh, I want to work in the hospital. And he said, oh, so for instance, you want to be a cleaner at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital? I know, right? Because there are a lot of things you can do in the hospital. Exactly. Yeah, but I want to be part of the shaping of healthcare delivery. Whether I'm the one at the delivery or I'm, I'm involved in policy making to change how healthcare is delivered. So that's what I wanted to be. And that's what I have been. So you are? I am. W which position are you now? Oh, I am a professional nurse. You? M my first degree was in nursing. You are shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I have a BSc nursing certificate and license. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. I practiced for just one and a half years. And I went back to school to do my master's. And since then, I've been teaching in health services management. So I'm still in health. I help with health policy formulation. Wow. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to that. Let's put mm -hmm. that on the pause right now. <laughs> yeah. Now, now let's talk about faith yeah. growing up. You mentioned all that you had gone through. Yeah. Um, at what point did you have that encounter? Did you surrender to Jesus? Who? Jesus. I, I believe Jesus, even when I didn't quite know who he was, mm. and, I, and because I didn't know who he was, I didn't believe really in the power. Like I was religious but not in the power <laughs> that was in the faith. Yeah. Okay. So because I've always been in church. I was born christened in church. Um, my parents are Catholics. Okay. And so I got my baptism in that, you know how yeah. Catholics do. And so I all through my childhood, I've been in the Catholic church. Somewhere along the line, my mom switched to Jehovah witness. Ah. So I started going to Jehovah witness. In fact, we, I followed her and carried the, you see that bag? Yeah, that we, yeah. Jay with it, uh, yeah, yeah. We go for us and pack up. Okay, yeah. Evangelism. Uh, we do witnessing. Yeah, witnessing, right. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> my mom had one terrible miscarriage. She lost a lot of blood and mm. she did a blood transfusion. She was dying. She, mm. she's, I think she, has, she saw her spirit leaving. Mm. And uh, Jehovah Witness do not take uh, blood transfusion. But when she got to that last point... <laughs> She broke the rules. <laughs> she said they should give her the blood. Oh my God. So when she got out from there, we didn't go back to jail. <laughs> oh my word. That was a narrow escape. That was how we left Jehovah Witness. Oh, wow. After that blood transfusion, we, we sucked ourselves. <laughs> we left, you know. So I still have my friends. We, I used to attend JWT. We, we are still cool friends. And so from JWT, then I came to the secondary school. And then I joined SU. Okay. How did I even join SU? I joined SU to avoid punishment. Uh, because, you know, secondary school, those days, they'll be punishing you <laughs> left, right. <laughs> so on weekends, I'll just sneak into the church services so that at least within that time, you will be safe from <laughs> seniors punishing you. I know, but right. one night, mm. Reverend Dr. Mary Gansa, 
Oh, wow. Came to my secondary school to sing. It was a gospel rock show. What secondary school was that? Nungwa Secondary School. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. And she came with her team. And when I, I, I just, I think I wasn't even in the program. I was walking around and I saw that the music was really good and I like music. I uh. mean, so I just jumped into the service to dance. <laughs> well, and then I, 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 my eyes just went straight to uh, Dr. Mary Gansa. Oh my, did you see her those days? Yeah. Like, she was so beautiful. I, have, I hadn't seen any yeah, human being like that sweet before. She's 16. She's still beautiful, yeah. actually. And she, the way she was, she stood there so beautifully singing. And there was something in that singing. It wasn't just entertainment, even though people were jumping and all that. I just stood there and I was staring at her. You couldn't dance? No. <laughs> I think I was, I was just in awe yeah. of her, her beauty, the voice. Now I understand it was the unction. Yeah. There was some anointing from yeah. the, that time. I didn't know what it was, but there was something that kept me okay. just gazing. Then I heard, oh, if you want to give your, your life to Christ, step okay. forward. Don't mind who is standing by you. Come forward. And after her ministration, she made an altar call. Okay. And that was how I found myself standing there with my hands up. Wow. Receiving Christ and the music ministration. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So that's, that's, I gave my life to Christ in the secondary school, Nungwa Secondary School, under the ministration of Reverend Dr. Mary Gansa. Does she know this? I think I've told her before. I have. Okay, we'll send the video to her. Yeah. Her I ministry has her. blessed lives. Yes, yes, yes. Her ministry saved me. Her, it, it wasn't music. I believe she came to that school that particular time for me. There's a confirmation. I remember my cousin had told me, I think it was Felicia, I said, Amana Pa had told me that when she was in Wesley Girls, uh, she had come, oh no, I think they sang her song. Okay. It was, it was as, how oh, can I reject you, Lord? I think it was that song you that made her give love, yeah. her life to Christ. So Dr. Yeah. Mary Gansa has... Ah, that has, woman has saved yeah, so and so. she has. Yeah. Would you say that's how you got inspiration to do music? I think so. I uh, think so. And not just music, but I intend, I even if I get half of what that woman achieved with <laughs> her music, I, I should be good to go. I know. Right? Yeah, I should be good to go. I, uh, my, my, my purpose and everything I'm praying for is that somebody will look at me singing, somebody will listen to my music and think about what they are doing with their lives. Wow. And not just dance. <laughs> and not just be happy. Happiness and dancing and the entertainment is good. But there's something deeper. There's right. something beyond happiness. Mm. There's something called joy. It's not happiness. I you know, need right? that one. And that one will only come from a conviction. Mm. Yeah. Now you're preaching. Oh, I've stopped. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you are my guest this morning. Very yeah. interesting revelation here. Right. So, so at this point, you have given your heart to Jesus. You are now a born again believer. Yeah. Why did music come in cry? Oh, uh, music. And I'm talking about this time, even going ahead to record, Pooh. Yeah. You know, when I gave my life to Christ in the secondary school, I joined the school choir. And okay. then there was one senior brother, Ima, that's all I can remember. He formed a group and added me to the group. So apart from the school choir, I was also in a small group in school and we used to sing a cappellas and all that. So anytime I come back from school, now I realize I couldn't go to Catholic anymore, which was my church before I went to give my life to Christ in secondary school. I came back to the house and when I went to church with my mom, I had forgotten all the recitals in the Catholic church. You know, in, like the prayers are things that we learned and we recited. I had forgotten all the words. And so I went there every Sunday and I wasn't fitting. So I had to find a different church. And that was how I ended up in the then uh, Word Miracle Church, which is now Perez okay, Chapel. Okay, Perez Chapel. You know, they started yeah. in Tamale. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And so my mom lives in Tamale. I, 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 I grew up in Tamale and Yape and some other areas in the northern region. So then Word Miracle, I, uh, those they recalled him, Brother Charles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and he too. I think I have, I just have this weakness for nice things. So. Okay. He was so handsome. He looked like Michael Jackson. <laughs> He had this afro hair. Okay. And I think those they used to put maybe those uh, as an activator, those Kelly stuff in his hair. I think you would call it relaxer. Oh. It's not relaxer. Oh. <laughs> Je it, it gives jelly jelly curls. Yeah, it's called activator. Okay, I, I hear think you. so. They, he he would rub it in the end. The hair was shiny. Come and on you know now. he's dark and he's handsome yeah. with his white teeth, and he would just smile, <laughs> and you feel like giving your life to Christ it's all a over precious again. Precious one. <laughs> 
precious one. <laughs> to think that he will even call you precious I one. Know, right? Well, nobody thinks you are precious. I know. Oh. <laughs> so I joined World Miracle okay. uh, Sunday School. Uh, grew from there. The pastors there were amazing. That was where I started learning more about Christ. Okay. I had left the Catholic Church. And then so I joined the music groups in mm. the church. Mm. World Miracle. Mm. Moved on to the youth service. We had a youth choir again. We had groups within the youth choir. I was part of all that. So that's how singing grew for me. Um, wow. In my quest to get to know more about God and learn more about God, sometimes I would just be in the congregation and we are singing, and then somebody would say, You should join the choir. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I joined the singing groups and I sang until finally when I decided to now um, record. Record? Yeah. So it's been from secondary school groups, okay. groups growing through the choirs and then groups, and then till now I started recording. Now talk of recording, I saw a picture of you when you went to your first studio, and you're wearing dark goggles. Oh dear! What, what, what was that? <laughs> it's no good though. What you're doing is no good. No, I'm, I'm trying to find out all the inspiration why the song. You know, you had to close your eyes. <laughs> you can see the song. You said it. I saw the picture. I'm like, okay, your first time in the studio wearing shades. <laughs> Why are you going to do hip hop? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! I know. Stop it, no, don't mind me. What you're doing is not godly. <laughs> I apologize. It's not godly. What, what, what's the way? That you're was the record? first time uh -huh. I had never been to a studio before. So I went to the studio with a friend of mine, Angie. Uh, we went to Nasi's studio. I don't know. For some reason, I'm like, hey, so all this, uh, we are going to record a song very soon. We become stars. <laughs> and so we have to dress as such. It was a rehearsal to stand up. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> the shades were no bad crap. <laughs> I don't even know how I got them. We, my friend Angie got one and I got one myself. <laughs> and imagine you are sitting in a, an enclosed space and you are wearing sunglasses. <laughs> I know. I saw the picture. Two people. So, so the Angie, was she, were you featuring her? Or? Angie, we actually started, we wanted to sing together. We okay. were starting a group together. Oh, we came out with a, an album. We are called The Unashamed. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. what, what happened to that, that album what? but if you look at our shame you should know that we are unashamed <laughs> even the spectacles attested to the fact that we were I unashamed know. yeah i mean it didn't work out because i mean after we we released the the album then they were calling us for shows and all that and i had started my phd Ooh. So every time they called on a she would have to probably go there alone. <laughs> and I wasn't around and it was getting frustrating for her. No. And I only pop in once and I'll come uh, back to and I was in my PhD in the UK. Oh. So yeah. Ah, that journey there. Uh, it wasn't working. So wow. uh, I she I came back one time and I think we had a show at TV three, music music. Okay. And I called her, I said, Oh, I'm back in Ghana. <laughs> I think we have some gig be at music. I said, Media me <laughs> 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 I don't know my dream. I, I think, see, this thing is not working. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, she won't do. She won't do again. <laughs> where, where is she now? Oh, she's she's in Accra. She's ah. she's around. Yeah. She, Banji sings very. She used to be the lead singer at uh, Perez those days. Oh, she used okay. to lead the choir. She was this tiny, nice girl who used to lead that whole big choir. Oh wow! She can sing. She's been singing with Nana Yawasari and those guys. Oh, wow! Even before, I, she, so she was the experienced one, and I was just so, learning. Why you her. ended up frustrated here? I know for scrap. I'm sorry, Angie. Angie, fracture me why. <laughs> we wanted to become stars, and I'm doing PhD. Can you imagine? Eh. So the, the PhD came to spoil our stardom. Eh. But you didn't give up. And I, I was still trying, you know. I said, Charlie, this thing, I've put my hands to it. I don't want to look back. I must keep pushing. How do you get songs? Eh. Oh, songs. I get them through different, different ways. Sometimes, I mean, we are having a conversation. You could say something and I will, oh, wow. I will write it down. Sometimes I do my quiet time and through when I'm reading the Bible and I, I'm thinking, I'm meditating on the word, I get a certain revelation about that particular word and I write it down. So most of the time, I just jot them down in pieces. Uh, sermons, my pastor preaches something, he says something that really strikes a chord. I write it down. So, yeah. With wow. time, I, I just write down the, the, the pieces and then with time, I, I kind of get a melody to it. You do? And when I don't, there's one amazing producer in this country. I don't know, the guy is able to read my madness. Even when the <laughs> things are just crazy in my mind, I can't put them together. 
I entered Nasi's studio and he's able to tell what I was imagining. No, he's gifted like that. Yeah, he's good like that. Oh, I fit you oh he will fit you it for you. Wow. Yeah. Where do you go to church now? Now I joined my husband in his church, which is Fountain Gate Chapel. Oh, okay. So I had to move from Perez to, to Fountain Gate. Yeah. Oh, I see. Do you sing in church? I used to. I haven't sung in church in a long time now. No, I just go to church, but I you, don't. You're part of those who join the choir when they marry and they give birth. No, oh, they, me. They join the women's. Reverend Clement <laughs> Anchaba will women's, testify. Women's <laughs> fellowship. <laughs> Reverend Clement Anchaba will testify that I'm the only, I'm the first person in Fountain Gate who started singing with my nine-month-old pregnancy. Oh, wow. I will, I will be heavily pregnant and still be in the choir and be singing. Wow. And I made it a culture. Since then, people, when you got pregnant, you stay there and sing. Oh, wow. And it was, I think this whole school and yeah. up and down, I've not been around, I don't go for rehearsals. And so mm. you can't just jump in and say you are, you are singing when you've not come for rehearsals. So it's it's not because you feel you are a star. Oh no! I understand nothing that you are going to help me become. Oh. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on! I want, I want, to, I want to share one of your songs. Since you mentioned the sea, yeah. I like the song. Okay. You tell us about it when I'm done playing. Okay. Where do you always might get this morning? I guess it's interesting, huh? <laughs> but I heard you saying, "Wait, wait, wait!" You trying to wait. mention your name? You know the Gombes have the most <laughs> animated. Mannerisms in this country. Uh -huh. The Gumbes, have do you know them? The people who come from Tamale. Uh -huh. The language is so animated I and know, right? dramatic <laughs> and it's sweet. I like Dagbani. Okay. So it's it's a mannerism. Uh, when you are saying, oh wait, you say, hi, like they are like that. So like hi hi hi. hi. <laughs> 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 So, so the song is titled Impagia. 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 I'm Imp grateful. Impagia. Yeah, that's Dagbani. Dagbani. It's the language spoken in Tamale. Wow. Mm. How did you get it song? <sighs> a heart of gratitude. I I found myself just expressing how, just how grateful I am to this God who didn't even care about all these uh, things that were happening to me and didn't care about how I have failed so many times mm. and didn't care about how I didn't even have a clear picture of what I wanted to be mm. in future but still decided to lead me through a path that brought me thus far. Wow. I, I am just so grateful. So I summarized it all. And like I said, when I go to the studio, yeah. Nasi uh, <coughs> put on his Midas touch. And here we and are. that's about it. Yeah. I love it. It's a good song. Yeah. I'm one of the people who advocate for songs to come from different languages. Uh, yeah. And sometimes I struggle to get these songs to play because I know we're going to March, you know, Ghana month. And sometimes, you know, the songs are all coming from the South. The South, you yeah. Know, yeah. yeah. So I, I like try. I um, you yeah. realize all my songs are either in Dagbani, Hausa. Yeah. 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 Dagbani and Hausa. You speak Hausa too. I speak Hausa because I've lived in Nima a while. Yeah. I I've been everywhere, Charlie. Wow. Everywhere. <laughs> I used to live in Nima. We, we, Don't we. ask me which address in Nima, but I used to live in Nima. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I see. I speak Hausa a bit, so I'm able to sing in Hausa, and I speak Dagbani because I've lived in Tamale. Uh, I speak Chi because, yeah, I mean, I cry uh, everywhere, everyone's. I, I want to tell the devil something in Hausa. Help me. I want to say, uh, nah, jiggy me chill. Eh? What, what does that mean? Like, I'll, uh -uh. I'll hit him. Or... Uh, it didn't work here. Eh? Don't say that one. Uh, you one can one? just say, Wake Fushi the Ikong Allah. I'll buy she a wa After drinking, I was a cook. I'll get this one. <laughs> Let me read some messages to you. This is Nadia. Nadia says, Blessed morning to you, Fifi and Auntie Patience. Okay. I'm so proud of all she's accomplished. Uh, oh. She was my hey, drama and choreography teacher at Fountain Gate Chapel. Hey, you didn't Who sent that one? One, well, Nadia. Okay. Yeah, Nadia, Nadia. Yes, 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 uh, yes. yes. You, you didn't add that to your CV. Drama. Oh, uh, Fifi, I act as well. Yeah. I do everything. Yo. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell my producers to find you. <laughs> oh. I say activator. You're right, man. Okay, somebody was telling us. Activator. Uh, yeah. Activator. Yeah. Something from a dentist. And he said, Fifi, the woman is interested. I'm inspired by her confession. God bless her. Amen. Yeah, she is. Uh, this one all the way from UK. Now says, Oh dear. I've never laughed listening to up close like I am now. <laughs> God bless. You. she's cracking you uh. <laughs> hi Phoebe because uh, I'm enjoying the conversation I'm late for the second service oh Ajma just said please stay in church we are Kafra. here this is church <laughs> <laughs> this is church <laughs> oh my 
my goodness. If I'm going to read all your messages, we can't finish you. So, I have to forward them to you. I you know. are Fifi. I simply love your guest. She's so interesting and very pretty. I'm also in the public health space, so I hope to meet her someday. Yes, uh, sure. May God bless her endeavors. Essie, uh, uh, share this with us. We're on Facebook Live. You can go and check it out, yeah? yeah. The beauty that... Uh, Prof, so and then you know, hey. uh, hallelujah. This guy FF wants to from Dakar. <laughs> Ever <laughs> from Tucker, is so inspired. Great woman, I love your free spirit. This has been my best of your show so far. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> it, it, wow. Took, it took way to bring hey. that. <laughs> you should be bringing me every I week. I know, right? <laughs> if you love your guest, Chai, I can't stop laughing. Sweet lady, God bless it. Dart, how are you doing, bro? Chai, you know what? Let me let me save the remaining ones. Eh? I know. I know. We'll, we'll read it as we, as we carry I on. know. My God, some have sent me messages on my phone. I I, I am ah. grateful to all of them. Um, but you are a star. Really? Ah. I, I was going to say that today. I beg you, <laughs> make me a star. Right? You are a star. You you have the key look to at, look at making the me a I star. No, I love it. But I, I love I love I love your spirit. Thank I, you. I love more so even this new song. This impact. Impact. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I yeah. just I like it. I like the language. The band is beautiful. Thank so you. so what are you doing now? Are you recording music? Uh, I know you have something that uh, you know goes a long way to help the. Do I call them underprivileged people? Yeah. yeah. What's that? Um, the Ex Glow Foundation. Ex Glow. Ex Glow meaning extending God's love. Hey. <laughs> Ex glow, ex glow foundation extending God's love to where God has loved me so much that I think if I don't extend, if I don't open up and start flowing out uh. to uh, <laughs> people around me, I might just explode. I know, right? Yeah, I've, I've, I've had a lot of God has shown me so much love, uh -huh. and um, I just felt like, like I said, when I was in those places. <laughs> Uh, living in all these communities where there was no healthcare facilities, we had. A, I attended a school, and my school, my GHS mate is actually online right now. Dennis Amui, now a big man at Goyo. Wow. Uh, Dennis Amui, we attended the same GHS where we had no teachers. Our headmaster taught every subject, including French, that he couldn't speak. <laughs> And so, <laughs> Are you serious? he couldn't speak French, but he said he would teach French. Really? We laughed at the guy, he stopped teaching the course. That's how I never learned French. <laughs> So yeah, then it's hi, yeah. hi. And uh, so we went to these schools. We had no teachers. We lived in communities. There was no proper health facility. And we struggled. Uh -huh. Most of, like I said, I lost three brothers. So I, I always told myself that one day when I grow up and God happens to give me something small, I would come back to these places and make life better for children who are still living under such conditions. And so that's how the S Glow Foundation was born. Um, the idea is to make sure that we, I, I reach out to rural communities that are deprived and I provide uh, learning materials for schools in those communities. Not just the learning materials, but I get to use my own life to talk to these kids. Sometimes the secondary schools in such communities, the children, they don't know what they want to be in future. They don't know what to do. You ask them what they want to do and they are just like me. They, had, they have no dreams. So mm -hmm. I go there and I talk to them and I tell them, hey, you... I remember I went to a school and they were sharing a desk and I told them, you are even sharing a, a desk and you mm. are complaining. I sat on cement blocks, put my books on my lap to write. Really? And I am here. I have a PhD by the grace of God. And I know one thing about God, that he's no respecter of persons and he does not discriminate and he does not reject people where they were. So if you are sitting here today and you are crowded in that classroom, please know that it is possible that one day you will become better than I am. I didn't sit on a desk and I am here. You can do better. Mm. Yeah. So I talk to them. I share when I tell them, I, I mentioned the community I went to the school in, you can, they know that these places exist and it, it's, it's, the situation hasn't changed that much since then. Wow. So I talk to them. I inspire them because I believe inspiration is very, very important to anybody's, uh, uh, progress and performance in life wow. apart from i mean all the resources you can receive mm. so i donate and i speak and that's what the s glow foundation does i go to these communities i donate learning materials and i speak to them and i encourage them and i tell them it is possible wow. and i i am happy to see that most of them the mind shift is coming up they are changing they are beginning to dream they are seeing the possibilities and that makes me happy I, i'm told that you use your own money. Yes, I save my 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 husband. Thank God, agrees that I save my salary 
and at the end of uh, every quarter, I go uh, to a, I visit a school and I do that. Wow. So it's only my husband's money the way I they chop small, small. Oh, God mm. bless him. Mm. Wow. I they chop in money where my money they go to village. Wow. Yes. It's a ministry. Yes, so. X Amazi. X Glow. You have a website? Yes. www.sglow.org. Um, Mm. Yeah, 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 even this this Christmas we were in central region. So my target is the poorest regions in Ghana. Central people are shocked when you say central, but it's part of the the regions that are poor in Ghana. Central region, northern, upper east, upper west. Wow. These four regions are my targets. The you, rural areas in these regions. So okay. last, uh, I think a month ago, my team and I we went to the central region, a community called Straha. We went there this time with the skills training because I'm thinking instead of just donating things, for how many times will you donate for them to be okay? There's the need for sustainability. Right. So now we've added skills training to it. So I bought items. I got resource persons. They taught them how to make soap. Uh, those who wanted pastries, bead making and stuff like that. So that's what we do. I have a whole team and I, I give them small, small allowance and they, wow. they do the All job. All from your pocket? From my pocket and from I, friends and family now okay. when they see that i go to these places sometimes people help people every now and then mm. come up and they help yeah there's a way you're going and then you need people to be groomed to become radio presenters i'll go and be uh, oh that would be nice I'll just go and, you know, oh just, that would be nice give them some that would be nice some <laughs> oh thank you god bless you yeah, i'll yeah, take you up on that no, one no, I'll go, I'll go, yeah I'll go. <laughs> what i have stopped receiving is used clothing and used stuff because fifi God delivered me from something. Somebody called me to donate items. I drove all the way to Eastern Region to pick up the items. I didn't open the bags and I sent the bags to the village in the Upper East Region only for them to open the bags and it was weed, bundles of weed. What you say weed? You mean ganja? We, we, and we are yes. Ha! Huh? Are you serious? Yeah. Only God, have, I, I think the angels were all around me like tight with my angel michael with a sword making sure that i drove past police post and nobody stopped me to check that bag why, why would anyone do that I, up till now i have no idea i went for an interview on tv and somebody i spoke about s glow the person kept calling i have some used clothes so my friend and i drove to the eastern region to pick up and they were used clothing on top of it i didn't know under those clothing were these tied up Abu, huge Abu, bundles Abu, Abu Chale? <laughs> i have no idea what it was meant for but it's funny so now I, when you tell me to come and take you unless i know you personally are you, are you check uh, uh, maybe the person you know it's rude that yeah. somebody gives us and then you are opening it and you are uh, no, it's it, very it, it, rude I so mean, I, yeah. when you travel those things there is no rude though. Here, so, there is Chale, like, yeah. now but i have to maybe the person ha wanted free transportation to send it where but he didn't give she didn't give me the address <laughs> this is so funny i gotta check some uh mama mary Gansa, yeah uh for you wow oh wow mommy she says dr pat is a good woman oh. she's doing a lot for her community wow oh, what that's a blessing my mommy. yeah elio lamptey says lovely interview really enjoying it yeah, yeah. I mean, where do you want charlie the messages you bring come this morning dear people say bring her back next week yeah oh, <laughs> i will sleep here do you need support with eggs glow, what you do? Plenty. That's like a I rhetorical need help. question. Yes, I need <laughs> help. The the like the Bible says the the harvest is plenty. Labor the laborers are few. Uh, you know, people come and say they want to volunteer, but they, they are not volunteering with funds. You, even if they are volunteering their services, you still have to transport them. Yeah. So, like even the vehicle to move. I remember we drove to one village in the Upper East Region, got to a point, and the road had ended. We uh, had to get down and walk through the bush because the road is finished. Wow. Uh -huh. So, uh, access, uh, you, I mean, you take a salunka and you are stranded on mm. the way. So, if I get a pickup, uh, oh, if somebody blesses me with a pickup, wow. the villages I will go. You know, wow. because there are still rural interlands that I need to reach. Those people are equally human beings. Right. And they deserve some love, they deserve some care. That's your the fact that you even Sorry. appear there and they know that you came, them, you came there just For to them. see them, they are happy. Yeah. I was asking, does your website have any details there? Yes. Okay. It has details if you want to support. It has phone numbers. We okay. have bank accounts on in X Glow's name. You know, it's easier to put a number put a number out. Just how if anybody wants to reach out to you, just put a number out. The number is zero two six four. Zero two six four two three four zero one six. Mm. 
but my my chief volunteer uh the lady this lady is amazing she spent her whole life helping me out with x glow her number if you want anything to do with x glow you can call her her name is nancy nancy zero five five zero seven one six one six eight zero five five zero seven one six one six eight nancy handles everything that has to do with x glow okay she did her she did her she was a, my graduate assistant she's done now but she still helps me uh, that lady is amazing god, god bless, bless her. her i pray that she'll get a good husband wow and may all the pets in her house be blessed <laughs> <laughs> you got you got a text from the president's lawyer she hey. has great conversation this morning <laughs> caught the last few minutes and i'm blessed these are the stories that need to be told to inspire like she said this is called a suman yeah, she's he's been my guest here before. He's a president's lawyer. He's a big man. Oh, you brought wow. you brought the big people who have dogged me. Today nah. I've made it, oh, mommy. <laughs> I've made it. You have made, I've made, you have it. made a wager and tell us it all. Hey, who I've made who it. can despise you? Who nobody? Oh. Please, please bring this woman back again. Oh. I'm so inspired by her testimony. It's Caleb. Okay, well I'll see. But you need to support what she's doing. Phoebe, yes, glow. Yeah. Yes. Oh. I love this lady. I want uh, Sammy B to invite her to the elite side of the weekend city show. <laughs> I've become an like that <laughs> <laughs> okay is there anything you wanted to talk about that i didn't ask you no i mean you've touched my heart actually s glow is my heartbeat i sleep i wake up i move every day uh, for s glow foundation and so um talking about it makes me happy i'm glad you've put it out there and so i'm hoping that they won't just say god bless you god bless you but you know what the bible <laughs> says god bless you when somebody is hungry yeah you don't tell the person god bless god you bless give you. the person yeah. food that's the blessing yeah god bless you you, you heard it uh, <laughs> are, you, are you active on social media hold on i'm i'm what an inspiring conversation with the way you are please ask her if she's doing an outreach program to get young girls up north who are facing similar challenges you face going up to also keep going yeah. i have the feeling that millions of young girls will be inspired by her story fifi yeah. thanks for this interview tell where you were the cousins are uh, waiting for a song from her in kasim <laughs> as we wait from uh uh sunyani sent in this one yeah. okay yeah, 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 kasina yeah, song yeah. coming up uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, okay there is some kind of uh okay something with my american Amer music right come on for you please uh good gospel music god bless you i want to show small offering pastor papa and son from latin cap yeah. yeah exactly god bless you okay that's what we 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 are trusting god for so yeah. she put a number of nancy out there yeah. you can reach nancy the number again is what nancy's number is zero five five let me get it again okay zero five five zero five five zero seven one zero seven one six one six eight six one six eight eight yeah okay. nancy handles everything, everything that has to do with s glow foundation Alrighty. yeah all righty so my time is i've got just two more minutes with you mm. how does it feel being uh, married to a professor Hey. Oh, so you were saving that one for last. No, I didn't save anything. I'm just having a conversation with you. Hey, it's difficult, <laughs> Papa. It is. <laughs> it gives you pressure. It gives you pressure because then he's a professor. So everybody wants you to also be behaving like you are a professor. <laughs> I know. Right? But professorship is not an STD. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't transfer like that. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's 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 a it, it moves it, it, it gives me the energy to also uh, yeah. write more do mm -hmm. a lot of research and uh look forward to also becoming a professor oh you are eh same journey yes i'm i'm working on it oh, because with well, this professor in your house i know what's professor's uh -huh. name joshua joshua professor joshua yinde naba abo joshua yinde naba yeah. he likes the yinde naba yinde naba uh, uh -huh. hene okay yeah wow mm. so he's a uh, immediate what was that what was that his position the of? dean of the business the, school the dean of the business school university of ghana business, of ghana business school, school. Yeah. but what? he's no more the dean no. uh, we're, we're two he's now just a professor a professor in finance oh, the finance wow. department oh great yeah what a joy yeah. it's been such an honor hosting you this morning i am excited i made it i'm updating my cv after here <laughs> You are a superstar. <laughs> I look. I look forward to uh, another conversation. Yes. Maybe shortly. Yeah. You know, and tackle other areas, right? I do, so, man. how I do we do. find your music across social media? Oh, my wedgie wall is wedgie music. So when you go online, just 
Where you, like I said, there's no other person in this world yeah. with that name. W E G E I W O R. Okay. Where J War. Where J War. Yeah. Okay. On so all platforms. What yeah. I jokingly say that the name sounds like uh, someone who is waging war and always wins. It, it kind of makes sense because all her life she's been waging war and she's always winning. You know, Neil Kain co made coin that thing. Neil Kain, when he first saw my name, said, Hey, waging war. Ah. Uh -huh. So they even were teasing me that I should set up a ministry. You don't know all the gospel musicians are setting up ministries. I know, right? So, 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 and so ministries. So, me too, I'm doing waging war ministries. <laughs> I'll be one of the members. Waging war ministries, yeah. <laughs> but yes, we are waging war. Waging war against poverty, against disease, yeah. against ignorance, um, against failures, against anything that is bad. Wow. We are waging war. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, God bless you so much for the time you spend this morning <laughs> on Up Close. God Thank bless you for you. telling the story to inspire all of us. And we are all encouraged by it. We Thank pray for you. higher heights and great support for your ministry. Thank so you family, so much. Let's Thank support you. her. This Thank is where you. good cause, right? On that note, I'd like to thank you all for staying tuned in. If you missed it, you can play back as on our Facebook account, Joy 99.7. You can equally uh, ask me to give you the audio. I'm that generous. Find me, F-I-F-I-F-O-L-S-O-N across social media. I would love to be of help to you. Uh, thank you. We're back going the next week. May his grace us through every life's race with an extra pace. No enemy can chase. Hanodami is here at 